times the Lord delivered me. In fact, all who want to live religiously in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. But wicked people and charlatans will go from bad to worse, deceivers and deceived. But you remain faithful to what you have learned and believed because you know from whom you learned it and that from infancy you have known the sacred scriptures which are capable of giving you wisdom for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for refutation, for correction, and for training in righteousness, so that one who belongs to God may be competent, equipped for every good work. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. Though my persecutions and my foes, my per persecutors and my foes are many, I turn not away from your decrees. O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. Permanence is your word's chief trait. Each of your just ordinances is everlasting. Princes persecute me without cause, but my heart stands in awe of your word. Those who love your law have great peace, and for them there is no stumbling block. I wait for your salvation, O Lord, and your commands I fulfill. I keep your precepts and your decrees, for all my ways are before you. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. As Jesus was teaching in the temple area, he said, How do the scribes claim that the Christ is the son of David? David himself, inspired by the Holy Spirit, said, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I place your enemies under your feet. David himself calls him Lord. So how is he his son? Great crowd heard this with delight. The Gospel of the Lord. The first reading, Paul writing to Timothy, presents two very important themes here. First, if truly you want to live a religious, a pious, a Christian life, you will face persecution. 
whatever it is, will certainly be persecuted. And then he goes ahead to tell us another thing about the scripture as a guide. This is the way you can survive. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, refutation, for correction, and for training in righteousness, which means everything you will need in your life as a Christian is there in the scriptures. Fired, and it's used for teaching, is good for correction, for refutation. And we know a lot of things are going on today in the world. And there is nothing that happens that is so new that we cannot find it in the Bible. And any problem you encounter is not so new that it, is, it has not been there in the scripture. So that's St. Paul talking to all of us today. Anything you will need, you can see in the scriptures. But how many of us devote time to read the scriptures? How many of us spend time to read and meditate the script in the scriptures? That is the problem. So St. Paul, writing to Timothy, even though he's writing to Timothy, but he is addressing us today that everything you need is is in this. You don't need to run around looking for solutions, for advice from one person to the other. Everything is in the scriptures. God speaks to you directly in the word. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Let us pray. Sanctify our offerings by your blessing, O Lord, we pray. And by your grace, may we be set May we be set afire with that flame of your love through which St. Boniface overcame every bodily torment through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. 
Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your sins are praised. Your very suffering are but wonderful, are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give order to their faith. With their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like they do for, so that they may become for us body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. A similar way when supper was ended. He took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may Mary to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, there to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made your blessed martyr Boniface faithful in his in service, in your service, and victorious in suffering through Christ our Lord. Now please join me and other Catholics throughout the diocese in praying the memorare invoking our blessed lady's powerful intercession for the sick, for all who care for them, for those who have died of this virus, and for all of us to keep the faith and live our daily lives of faith with greater hope and charity. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, employ thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the Word incarnate. Despise not my petitions, but in thy clemency hear and answer me. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended.